welcome to this new video about data cloud and the nested segment. So I will show you how you can easily create a nested segment uh, within data cloud and what the concept behind. So we will create a segment based on the individual and um, I will name this segment um, email address with my company name. So the idea is to create a basic segment that will include um, all the email with my company email address name, which is uh, Sky. So here we will choose a standard publish segment and we will do an option to don't refresh. But if I want to refresh this segment on a uh, 12 hour or 24 hour basis, it's also possible. So what I will do next is I will go within related attributes, contact point email, and then I will select um, email address. Here, I would say that I want that this criteria happen at least once. And here, I will say that my email address must contain the domain sky. I click on done. And then I will go to save this uh, segment. I should get around 50 people, 57 in this case. I will click save. And here, um, I will go to uh, publish this segment. OK, so I click done. And here, I should be able to click publish now. So now my segment will be published. And I will just show you a few things while, uh, while uh, we while the segment is publishing, because it will take a while. So as you can see here, when we took contact point email, we didn't select direct attribute because the individual data model object, which is here, here, this is where like the key information about your uh, customer are stored. This data model object doesn't contain the email address field. So what we had to do is to search for individual and then to click uh, related attribute um, and we choose contact point email, which is the data model that uh, object that where we are storing um, the email address. So as you can see here, uh, this individual is related to, so I will just find it out, to uh, the data as uh, a email, um, the contact point email address, which is this object. So as this object is linked to my individual object, which is my core object within data cloud, I can access it and build a segment based on that. Okay, so now I think it's still publishing. So I will just put the video on pause until the segment is successfully published and then we will continue. Okay, so as you can see, the publish status is now on success, which is very important to create a nested segment. So I will use this segment as a base. And for example, I could forward it uh, to a marketing team, for example, or another team as a base, as a foundation, and they can reuse this segment uh, as a trusted information, like a trusted audience that they can search within. So now I will say, I will create a new segment called email address with my company name plus first name uh, is Arthur. So here I will create a segment within a segment, which is a nested segment. I do standard publish as well. I don't need to refresh the segment in this scenario. And here, once I'm, I've am i load the, the builder, I will click on segment and then I will drag and drop my segment. Here, I can use directly um, the results that are populated from my uh, nested segment, like the segment uh, that I've created before, or I can directly reuse the criteria. I would recommend to use uh, the first option as it's, it will allow you to continue, keep using the same base. And I can include or exclude it. So I can use this uh, template segment as an exclusion. Um, so I will create a broader audience and then I will exclude uh, this template segment, or I can include it. And in this case, it means that I will use it as a base. Okay. So here I will do all the uh, email address that have uh, sky within it, my company name, and then I will choose contact point email. And here I will choose, uh, I will still choose email address because at this stage, I think that I'm sure it will work. And here I will say contain again. And here I will write the value after. So here I will search that within the email address, I have Arthur. And here, as you can see, we have an end condition. So it will be search all the people that have Sky within the email address and search all the people that have Arthur within the email address. The thing is that here it's a nested segment. So it's basically another segment that we created in the past that we trust. So I can provide this nested segment to another team, for example, and let them know that yes, they can build a segment, but only from this base. So here I can click save. And I should be a number of people that is under 57, which was my number before. So here Data Cloud is searching. And here, as you can see, we have um, like 14 
record that have a name Arthur with an email address, uh, Sky, like a domain Sky. So this is quite good because as you can see, what we've demonstrated here is that we created a first segment that was our base, our template, all the people with a Sky email address. And then we've used this segment as a nested segment, so as a template, and we search it within it. Uh, all the people that had a first name equal to Arthur, which is my name. And then we add 14 people. So I hope you understand better the concept of nested segments within Data Cloud. If you have any question, please let me know. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you.